The PHP Language Structure Data types in PHP are generally divided into two categories, namely scalar and composite. A scalar variable contains only one value at a time, and PHP supports four scalar types. Boolean, which can either be true or false. A numeric integer value, which is a number without a decimal point. These can be signed or unsigned. Signed meaning that they are positive or negative, and unsigned meaning that they are only positive, including the zero. A floating point value, which is a decimal number. These can also be signed or unsigned. And a string, which is a collection of characters. Composite or compound data types are essentially containers of other data, of which PHP supports two. Arrays, which are containers of groups of other data elements, and objects, which are containers of both data and code. They are the basis of object-oriented programming and will be discussed in a separate tutorial. Other data types that PHP supports Null, which indicates that a variable has no value, either because it has not yet been assigned a value or because it has been explicitly set to null. And a resource. This is used to indicate external resources that are not used natively by PHP. For example, an external database. PHP has a set of built-in functions, which you can use to test which data type a variable has been defined as. The is underscore set of functions can be used for just this. For example, the is bool function, which can be used to test whether a given variable is a boolean. Below is some examples of the different functions that PHP can be used to test for different data types. Let's have a look at variables, what they are, how they are defined, and what syntax is used to declare a variable. A variable is a storage container that can contain any type of data, including integers, floating point numbers, strings, Boolean values, arrays, and objects. PHP is loosely typed, and unlike many other programming languages, the data type of a variable is determined when the data is assigned to the variable. In other words, the data type of a variable does not have to be declared before any data is entered into that variable. For example, if the number 2 is assigned to a variable, the variable will take on the data type of an integer. Or if the sentence PHP is cool is assigned to a variable, then the data type will automatically revert to that of a string. Variables are fundamental to any programming language, and without them you'd be forced to hard code each value you'd want to use in your script. So the syntax used to define a variable is a dollar sign followed by an identifier. An identifier is any name that you want to give your variable. And these can consist of letters, numbers, or underscores, and must start with a letter or an underscore. They are also case sensitive, as you can see in the examples below. The scope of a variable refers to where in a script or scripts a variable will be available for use. So the scope of a variable only extends as far as the script or function in which it resides. In other words, if a variable test is defined in script a.php, it cannot be used in script b.php. So how do I create variables that are available outside the scope of the script or function in which it resides? You can define a variable as global, which means that if two scripts are connected to each other, the variable will be available from either script, and that the variable will be available outside of a function if it's so declared. This will be discussed in more detail in the tutorial on functions. And also, PHP provides a set of predefined superglobals. You'll remember the built-in PHP functions that PHP uses to test for which data type a variable is. So also, PHP has a set of superglobals, which will do an array of other things. The superglobals are always present, and their values are available across all scripts and functions. These will also be discussed in more detail later on.